Hello Universe. Welcome to my world. We are still focused on Angelina Jordan and today is no exception. Today she is meeting Frank Sinatra. Now Frank Sinatra is one of the 20th century musical icons. He needs very little introduction. He has a totally unique style and a unique voice. He's instantly recognizable and he is also very famous for his phrasing the way he introduces the words as he's singing. And he's also very famous as he sings for being very, very relaxed. And the other thing that he does, which is really unusual and remarkable and part of his fame, when he sings, he sings as if he was singing to you personally, in the room, directly. And if you're singing to a huge audience in a concert or on TV, it's very, very difficult to achieve that. But Frank Sinatra manages to do that all the time. Now, I don't think we can talk about Frank Sinatra without speaking about the cult of celebrity and the mass hysteria that goes with that. And it's a really unusual phenomenon. It's been around a long time and it's been around for at least 100 years. And the, one of the most famous people who have this cult of celebrity it, from 100 years ago, from the mid-1920s, is Rudolph Valentino. He had, to call him a heartthrob would almost be an understatement. Uh, he had females very much on the edge of their chairs. And he also, when he had his very premature death at the age of 31, there was a lot of mass hysteria um, as Rudolph Valentino passed away. Frank Sinatra, 20 years later in the mid-40s, also had a lot of cult of celebrity about him, and he also generated a lot of mass hysteria. This is a scene from one of my all-time favorite movies, The Godfather, and this is a, a scene which some say is directly referenced by Frank Sinatra. Um, Frank Sinatra himself was not too happy about this scene, and it shows his talent and the reaction that females have for him. This heart I bring I have but one heart to share with you. I have but one dream that I can cling to. And I don't think we can look at the phenomena of celebrity and mass hysteria without looking at the Beatles. They performed in 1964, 20 years later, in Shea Stadium. Very famous performance, and there was total hysteria. And this is even before they started playing their music. Now, we're going to look at some specific Frank Sinatra songs, which are also covered by Angelina Jordan. And for a change, we're not doing Fly Me to the Moon because that is very much featured in many, many of the Angelina Jordan videos. It's very, very popular. And I have actually previously covered that in one of my videos. So we're going to do some of the more obscure songs that Frank Sinatra and Angelina Jordan have done together. The first one is My Way. And now the end is near And so I face the final curtain My friend, I'll make it clear I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, traveled each and every highway, and more, more than this, I did it my way. <clears throat> very relaxed, 
and very personalized is Frank Sinatra. Now, before we hear Angelina's version of this, Angelina Jordan can be classified in many, many different ways, and all of them show just simply how remarkable she is. I mean, I'm a great, great fan of her low register, and this is what that sounds like. Oh, Lord, my God. But I'm also a fan of her high range, and this is what that sounds like. Now, when Angelina Jordan sings this song, My Way, she does her low range, and it's also very, very impressive. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case. Of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it my way Now, Angelina Jordan has many different ways of being categorized. Um, one thing she does is she's very, very true to the original, and she shows off her talent that way. This is an example where she is covering Amy Winehouse's Valerie. First, the original. Well, sometimes And now we will hear Angelina Jordan doing her cover version, which is very, very similar to the original. Angelina Jordan also completely, completely reinvents a song or a phrase or a feeling. Listen to the difference with the Mamas and Papas California Dreamin'. First, the original. You And now what Angelina does with the same line. You know the preacher like the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay. Next song, which we will be looking at, covered by both Frank Sinatra and Angelina Jordan is My Funny Valentine. Frank Sinatra does a, a live performance and it's, again, one of its classical pieces. My funny valentine Sweet comic valentine You make me smile with my heart Your looks are laughable, unphotographable, yet you're my favorite work of art. Now that's Frank Sinatra doing what he does. Now when Angelina sings My Funny Valentine, she is relatively true to the original. She does not vary that much from how Frank Sinatra originally sang it. Your looks 
photograph a ball Yet you're my And finally, Angelina Jordan and Frank Sinatra are both doing You Make Me Feel So Young. First, the original. You make me feel so young. You make me feel that spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual the moment that you speak. I want to go play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. And when Angelina Jordan does the same song, she does her low register and her medium register and she reinvents it. Listen to the difference. You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak I wanna go play hide and seek I wanna go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon So Frank Sinatra, Angelina Jordan. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But we do find over and over again, however we look at Angelina Jordan, she comes up trumps. She is able to live with the best artists and she is a phenomenal, phenomenal performer. Okay, gang, we will continue our Angelina Jordan. We will carry on.